Yeah, all right, mate. Let's have a look here. Uh, STMX. Yeah, it was. Um, it got a pretty pretty nasty. What we call it? Rejection yesterday. Not really a nasty, but this candle here is like an indecision candle. Um, and sometimes indecision candles can cause markets to drop. Okay, so uh, I do. I hold some of this as well, but I do uh, understand your concerns here. Um, now, a lot of times when 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 you're in this apex like this, you usually would break up, right? There usually would be a move up, right? I'm still holding. Uh, granted, I don't like this candle, but I do think now that it needs a new three day candle at least. Um, so I'm going to hold out to see if we can get that move. Um, the other thing is we are still compressing here uh, into this white 100 moving average. And a lot of times when you compress into this white 100 moving average, price will eventually like to break up out of that. Okay. Now, the, 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 the one thing I don't like about STMX is that it is from memory. Actually, uh, I was going to say $170 million market cap, but let's check that. Actually, yeah, good. I'm, I'm getting mixed up. It's not 170. It's 70. Okay, so that that is already better. That's 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 definitely way better than 100 that will, than what was in my head. It gives me more confidence that there's a possibility this could move up. Uh, it's a lot harder if this was 170 million. So, um, granted, the move recently is not great, but overall, this still looks okay. Right, it still looks okay. There's a lot of resistance uh, right in here, as you can see, and we're still feeling the, the, the brunt of that resistance. The problem is when you bury stop onto here like that, there can be some sort of dip, right? There is a concern, um, and I, you know, me, me as well, you know, when you see this sort of thing, there's concern, but this is in the apex, and I don't like to fight that apex. I'm still having some faith at this point in time. You know, granted, this is not exactly what we wanted to see okay so that that is a, it's a little bit frustrating uh that we've seen that um now the other thing is this did close strong right see the way see, you know this is a bullish engulfing candle here and it's got to move up and it closed on the highs up here so it still is you know showing fairly decent strength um not not amazing uh because it never closed above this previous highs or anything but so far, you know, you can't really knock that a little bit. You can't knock it too much um, at the moment. There is some indecisiveness coming into the market. Now, actually, let's look at this daily. Uh, if this, see, see here, this is a large red candle. Uh, it's not huge, but you can see here, price went below. All right, let's, let's just mark this out a little bit. So you can see here, yes, price did go below this candle and then we moved back up. This was a bit of capitulation. We have something similar here. That, that's the worry. That That's, uh, you know, the near term worry. Uh, is price going to be bearish for a little bit and push down to here before getting the next leg higher? Right. That is, um, it's a possibility if we're going through the, a bear phase, right? Uh, it's, it's definitely not uh, out of the question, but, you know, it's tough to say for sure. You can see where that is. It's it's um, well from here uh, appears that that is a ten percent drop, right? It's 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 roughly a ten percent drop. Now, obviously, I hope we don't get that. Um, I'm hoping to see more strength and we get a push up. But uh, yeah, let's um, a new nine week candle in eleven days time. Okay, so that that's important. It is a new two month candle today. Okay, so and it did close above the yellow nine EMA here, so I I have to say I'm I'm with the uh, you know a little concern if you're buying if you're in here, um, I'm I'm willing to give it a little bit of room right a little bit of wiggle room because of this compression here on this, uh, you know I always say don't fight the apex, but there is a, a few kind of uh, signs that are not perfect, but because of this apex I'm going to continue to hold and see if we can get that break up. I would be surprised with all of this compression if we didn't get the move up. But reading the other charts, they are difficult, right? They they are, um, you know, they're they're definitely not perfect. Now this this two week looks okay. I like this two week in the fact that, um, you know, we, we resistance kind of we're building this base resistance, 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 and now we've closed up high. So maybe on a new two week candle, this might get that continuation. Okay, so far it's still fairly strong on the two week. There's four days left. <coughs> um, so, m you know, maybe on that next two week we could get that push. 
for now I'm going to continue to hold and just let it develop a little bit. <laughs> 